Hey, what's up, everybody? Um, <clears throat> trying to keep this short as possible, but you're probably gonna it's probably gonna end up being about 10, 15 minute video because like then they'd be long winded. But I want to get kind of straight to the point. Um, Semrush, if you haven't used it, it's awesome. Uh, there'll be a link for a trial uh, at the bottom, so check it out. You definitely got to check it out. Um, oh God, there's a m million things you can do in um, in Semrush. Uh, this was something I was just kind of trying to figure out, and it's just kind of a little outside the box thinking. And I want you to take away what you, whatever I do in here, think outside of the box, and just get ideas of how you can use it for your thing. What originally got me thinking for this was uh, PBNs. If you're doing PBNs, you know, building your own, the biggest thing is like your PBNs don't get traffic, right? Because you know you can go and get links linked to other sites in the PBNs, but if they're not getting traffic, they're not really as powerful, right? So I was trying to think of like how could I get some traffic to PBNs that would be legit, and my idea was like, oh, if I could find some like easy to rank keywords and get some some of that, you know, bang out a few pages with some really like low, you know, low difficulty keywords, I can get some traffic to the um, to those PBNs, and it'll just look a little bit more natural, and you know. SEMrush has so much data and I kind of was like I wish they had a thing where you can actually go and filter what you're looking for you know as far as just like the the how many how the volume the difficulty and then it would spit words but they don't really do that so that got me thinking like hmm I could maybe I could do some other stuff and this is some good ideas for for that or even for if you're looking for something to you know sell an Amazon store or just a new product or something to, to look at so I just want to run you through this real quick. Um, we're just going to use like I wanted. I wanted to find stuff that would have a lot of keywords, like big stores. So I did Dick's Sporting Goods Stores. And word of caution: don't put Dick's.com <laughs> in the box because that's not Dick's Sporting Goods. Um, but yeah, even if this, you get a lot of weird stuff in there. Anyway, so okay, so SMrush. If you've never used it before, you come in. There's a lot of things you can do. You can search domains. You can search keywords. It's going to give you tons of info. But remember, for this purpose only, we're trying to find out. Um, just get a whole boatload of keywords and then just sort them out by difficulty so we can find something that we can basically, you know, depending on your site, you know, whip out a page and then get that thing, you know, maybe pulling in five, ten hits a day or something like that, you know, just to pull in some traffic to the site um, for, for a PBM. But for other stuff, this is going to find a thing where, hey, wow, look, at there's a product that's like, you know, really easy to rank for. Maybe that's something I should try promoting or do a, rev a review on or something. So just, just start thinking outside the box as I go through this. So, all right, so Dick Sporting Goods, you got, I mean, 2 million keywords, right? Look at this, crazy. Don't you wish your uh, site looked like that? Um, so, basically, you got tons of stuff in here. I mean, a quick overview. They're going to show you the position of the keyword for the site, how, the volume, um, keyword difficulty, cost per click, the URL that's actually ranking, uh, uh, competition, the results, trends. There's a whole bunch of stuff. But, like I said, we're not going to be ranking. Some of this stuff is just so out of there. But what I want to do is try to run through some of the filters, right? So I try to kind of go in here, and you can sort sort things by all sorts of stuff. Keyword type, category, serve, position. What I want to do is I want to come in, and I want to I sort by results, right? Because if something's got bajillions of results, it's going to be a little bit harder to uh, rank for, right? So I like to come in and do, like, let's say, you know, less than, like, one and a half million, right? So, all right, there's one and a half million, and then let's say um, keyword difficulty, right? <sighs> Again, there, there's more stuff you can go into here, but SEMrush will basically say, like, anything from, like, uh, like 70 to 9, I think it's like 70 to 90, like, you got to have a really powerful site to get something ranking, if that's the keyword difficulty. Uh, 60 to 70, it's if you have a decent site, it's doable, like, 60 or below is going to be a lot easier. So I like to just come in and say, all right, let's just go look up keyword difficulty, and let's just try to sort by something that's less than... Let's just say 60, okay, because that's like a little bit more, you know, a little bit easier. And then let's do competition. So here's your competition, right? Now, if you look at that it's saying, basically, it's the density of advertisers using given term for their ads. So this means ads. So this isn't necessarily like all these words. They're just, SEMrush has some, some, you know, information that they're pulling from different, um, you know, ad words and different things, whoever, however they get it. So if it doesn't have anything or it's high, it just doesn't necessarily mean they might someone might be running ads for it. But it's a good thing to go to buy. So I'll, I'll just go in here and say anything less, you know, closer to one is the is the is the hardest, lower, low, higher the number, harder, lower the number, whatever. So I'm just going to do 0.35, right? And then let's just let's just hit apply, okay? Oh, don't mind this. This is my. Uh, if you're on the computer, light you should get something. It reminds you to like roll your eyes and take a break. It's really good actually. So okay, we just sorted out by that, right? And what did I do wrong here? Um, keyword difficulty less than 60. Oh, sorry, I never changed the keyword here. See, I, I meant I should have changed that to uh, to 
competition. There we go. Oh, and I just messed it up again. See? Even I know what I'm doing, I'm still screwing it up. All right, we're going to go to competition, right? And we're going to do less than point, point 0.35. We're going to apply it. And it's going to spit out a whole bunch of stuff. So, you know, you got almost a little over 4,000 based on all the stuff we just sorted. So you're going to get a whole bunch of information here. <laughs> here here's what I was talking about. <laughs> They're still pulling stuff because if you go to dicks.com, it's just somehow, they, oh my goodness, jeez, this is not family friendly uh, tutorial here. So anyway, so again, we're going to be looking at all this um, <laughs> all this uh, stuff, right? So there's a couple other things you can do. Sometimes like it'll show here in results that there's like nothing in the results. So you might want to say, all right, you know what, for this, I'm just going to add one more filter and say I want to include stuff that has um, results greater than 500 so if greater than 500 and up here we have it less than like one and a half million so it kind of that'll sort some stuff out that's like maybe a word that's not really getting it's just there but it's not they don't have much information for them. so all right so what's cool now is we've got all this data here right and we could look at volume I mean it's just going to give you ideas right so it might give you an idea for like Yeti warranty maybe you have a sports store and you're selling you would have a review on certain containers right like this is saying yeti warranty has a low keyword difficulty the results aren't that high which means it's like you know not too crazy the competition's pretty low but that's again that's for ads and you know and this is just ranking a page some crazy like yeti oz rambler tumblr blah 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 so like if you had a camping website or something you know you could probably create a page and just go over the yeti warranty stuff and then bam like you could have people coming into your site for Yeti warranty, you know, granted it's it's targeted traffic, right? So they come to your site, they start reading about that, then maybe they start checking all your other camping gear, you know, and so on and so on. So, oh my goodness. <laughs> so, so let's just keep going down. Easton Arrow Chart, right? Like there's another one, right? Like if you have a, a hunting website, um, you know, the volume 1900, that's 1900 hits a, a month, I believe, right? So, I mean, the keyword, everything's low here, the results are low, and this is ranking for some crazy, you know, arrow pack, but this is a chart, so people are actually looking up the charts for arrows, like bow hunters and stuff. So you can find a lot of good stuff there. You could get you get a lot of good targeted traffic for an arrow chart, and then you could be, you know, have a, a link to Amazon for arrows or, or Dick Sporting Goods, whatever it is. So you see what I'm saying? see what I'm getting at here you know best airsoft pistol um, and, and these are just giving you ideas I mean it depends what niche you're in like right like I mean this Dick's, Dick's sporting good obviously it's all sporting goods outdoor stuff so you can do stuff so let's say now you know and you got to remember too you know you might be thinking you want to rank for uh, let's just say that last one Easton Arrows or something right but you might never thought of Easton Arrow chart right so these sites are Sem Rush is pulling out information from these websites and it's thinking it's thinking better than you can think because you can only think of so many keywords and then you can take those keywords and you can click on it and then you can go even deeper down the rabbit hole in SEMrush and start to sort them all out but again I'm just trying to show you a way to think a little bit differently with this stuff um, so look here like what's cool like uh, you know let's say I, I've, I've picked the sporting goods because I do like a lot of fitness sites and stuff but let's say I mean all right, we want to include, we want to go real specific and include a keyword containing, oh God, I don't even know, an, like your ankle, because maybe like you're doing a post about like injuries or something, right? So let's see what we, I don't even know what will come up here. I'm just throwing it out there. Um, okay. So, all right. So look, we didn't get that much stuff, but look, okay. So we've got rock tape ankle. Uh, that's like, I think that rock tape, that's like the, the kinesio tape and stuff. So, I mean, look, you got a low volume. It's not too bad. Low competition. The results aren't too crazy. This page is ranking athletic tape wrap. I mean, you could do a page about rock tape or taping your feet, you know, ankles, stuff like that, and get some on here. Rock tape sprained ankle, you know, Muay Thai ankle support size chart. Like, what is that? I don't even know. But this goes to show there's a few things here, these charts. I mean, you can create a little bit of a, a page with some basic info and probably start getting some traffic to that. Um, you know, you could, like I said, you can start to do, you know, you could search for all sorts of stuff. I mean, heck, let's just go and say knee, you know. And here you go. Now you got more of this tape. It seems like there's a lot of tape here with all this stuff. Kneeboarding tips, uh, how to clean. See, like kneeboarding tips for beginners. Like, I wouldn't even think of kneeboarding. Again, the volume's not super high, but if you're just looking for something to go after, maybe for your PBN, you know, that's not a, that's not a bad that's not a bad page. And even if you're getting maybe t 
20 hits for that a month that's still real traffic that people are going to go to um you know all sorts of stuff you know and then and then that's not to say you can't go in here and you can't tweak this even more you know you can go i can go in here and we could take out knee and let's think like what like let's say sports all right yankees won last night uh let's put the yankees in there right oh Yankees are denied. Look at that. I'm surprised there's not. Oh, you know why, though? Because Yankees is probably a lot higher competition. So remember, we're looking for the easy things. So you can come in here, and let's just say for Hot Hots, we could change that to like 90. Maybe uh, maybe, maybe the Yankees will show up now because the keyword, the competitions. Yeah, see? So now that I change the difficulty, make it higher, now we start seeing all this thing, which is actually crazy. If you look at some of these sports, freaking uh, some of the guys' names and stuff, I was noticing that before. Um, Starling Castro Yankees. I mean, there's a lot of volume for these things. So, I mean, you could start to look at all that. But again, we were focusing on, you know, the less difficult uh, keywords. And let's just delete that, go back. We'll just go to the broad one. So, I mean, I hope you're seeing some of the, some of the, the things here, like just to get some ideas. I mean, here's, here's another one, you know, some of the, you, you can go and say, all right, let's try to find something that's going to have volume. We want to try to have something that's going to have volume. Let's say greater than, you know, a thousand. And let's say less than, let's just say like 3,500. So let's see, you know, if you can rank for a term that's in there, you're going to get a couple good amount of traffic from that. And let's see what we come up with here. All right, so we've got, you know, come up 47 that they can find here. And again, this is just, there's that Yeti warranty thing popping up again. Richie Sports, like I don't even know what this is, but... I'm not even sure what that is, but it's something that's got 2,900 visits a month, and the competition and everything's pretty low for it, right? Um, no, boy. Never mind that. Dick's credit card login. Uh, you, maybe if you were trying to go after some credit card thing, you might be able to do something with that. That arrow chart thing again. Irish poker. CrossFit Austin. Yeah, some of these things, they'll just come up with some random stuff. Um, Everfresh, I'm not sure what that is, but some, some sort of drink or oh, deodorizer, right? So there's something you can kind of go after that's not too crazy. So, I mean, I hope this has given you some ideas. Another one I had pulled up here is Walmart, right? So, like, you can come in here and look at Walmart, which is just crazy. You know, they, they're, they're ranking for so much stuff, too. You can click on this, view the full report. Um, oh, my gosh, 17.2 million keywords, right? So, I mean, geez, we're going to get tons of stuff in here. I mean, look, they're, they're ranking for Google. <laughs> they can, well, I mean, page 10, but whatever. It's just feels pretty crazy. So, let's remember, if we go in there and we just do some of these quick filters. Um, just do some, like, let's then, let's just do, like, 1.5 million. Is that 1.5 million? Yeah, 1.5 million. Do a couple in here. And then... Uh, do that we'll, we'll, we'll check out the results we'll just say you know greater than 500 again and then we'll do keyword difficulty we'll try to stay less than uh, 60 again and then we'll do the competition uh, less than 0.35 and let's just hit apply and see what they come up with and again it's just like Walmart so I mean they're gonna have so many keywords that it's not even funny, but it's stuff that you might have never thought of, you know what I mean? So, um, you know, Walmart, here's a credit card login. Hey, maybe we're on to something here. You know, all these, these sports card credit cards, you could create a site, you could create a site that's about, you know, credit cards for these stores and all the lot, like you give the log, there's probably a site like that where you have the login links for these sites and then hell, what the hell, man, on there you have some other affiliate links for uh, some new credit cards. Those things pay a lot of money. Sabachi Grill. I mean, some of the stuff. Oh boy, where, where does how does how does Walmart rank for this? Like, what is there that the what the f book? Holy cow! See this crazy. Um. So I mean, Hummingbird Nectar, right? Like, all right, humming. Oh wait, Hummingbird Nectar. Seriously, you know, twelve thousand searches a month for humming. My wife actually has a bottle of this stuff at home. You know. The, the results, the competition, everything's so, like, holy crap, maybe maybe I should go buy a bottle of sugar water, which is really what all it is, and sell it on Amazon uh, because it's got a lot of traffic and people are obviously searching it, and it's probably pretty easy to rank for it. That's pretty crazy. Um, you know, I mean, this is what I'm saying. Look at all these different things that, uh, oh, see here, it's telling me I'm ready for a break. Check this program out. ILO, it's called. Um, so, Femi cycle. Like, what is Femi cycle? Like, I don't even. Let's let's pull this up. I have no idea. Femi cycle. Oh boy. Seriously, I'm sorry. <laughs> oh god. I thought it was like a bike or something. Jeez, man. Oh, okay. What do Kermit? What do hermit crabs eat? Right? Hey, man. 
Hermit crabs, 6,600 searches a month. You know how many kids buy hermit crabs a year? I think I've actually seen ebooks on how to like, take care of these things. So I'm just saying, there's just get your mind going. There's so many ideas out here. And if, you, if you're getting, see what I'm getting at, you can go in here and you can start tweaking these things so much. You know, um, remember before, like, you know, we, we said, we, I did ankle on the sporting stuff. So, I mean, let's just do, if we do ankle here, right? And I'm, like I was saying, I don't even know why you would do it. If, if I'm doing my sports fitness thing, you know, for injuries and stuff. Um, see what we got so here you go hey look these chart another chart some crazy chart solid ankle ankle brace canada i don't even know why ankle size chart i mean that seems like it's pretty uh that's pretty weird these charts i don't know crazy stuff but i'm saying you put something together on a pbn about this for a fitness or a well health site and all of a sudden you get people coming to this ankle brace uh thing and they're going to spend time maybe download a, a, a pdf or something on it you know it's just good authority for your site so anyways i, I hope you 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 see what I was kind of getting at with this and just thinking outside of the box um, if you're not using SEMrush sign up uh, I'll put a link below in the video and on the page and um, they always have like a free sometimes they'll have like a free 14 day trial or free 30 day trial I've been using SEMrush for like oh man I don't even know six seven years now I think and um, they've got everything they, they've got it all they, they could be better in certain areas and they're getting there especially with backlinks so um, you know they're, they're 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 getting there, but I I'd love to hear some feedback. Um, you know there's so many ways to use this. And I hope you get something out of it. So uh, all right, I'm out of here. Go uh, go rank for some cool stuff and uh, don't go to dicks.com. Bye.